Jake Palmer at Remax here. I'm at One Goldie Court in Rosse. Beautiful story and a half on a really mature lot. Right in the heart of Rosse. A lot of people don't know where Goldie Court is. It's just off of Maiden Lane, which is just behind Shadow Lawn on the uh, Rosse Road. So very, very central to the heart of Rosse, uh, but in a really nice, quiet, really mature area. It's a mid-50s build and it's an era of homes that I, I, I really love. They tend to be really overbuilt and have really great use of space and really good materials. They're overbuilt homes that are really great to renovate and this is this is home in a great location that really begs for uh, a modern touch. So coming into the front door, we've got beautiful hardwood floors. And just off to our right is the living room. It's got kind of a den area off the back. I'll show you that nice wood burning um, Pacific Energy wood stove. Kind of just a little sitting room here that's open to the rest of the area as well. Dining room area right here. You'll notice too, most of the windows are vinyl replacement windows. A few of the side yard here as well. This would be the dining room. Sliding door going to the back deck here. Updated kitchen with granite countertops. You could take a wall out and open this up a little bit more if you wanted, but it's a really functional kitchen as it is. I think it's one of those homes that you can either move right into and use as it is, or do a large renovation. The, uh, the house justifies it. It's a matter of deciding what you want to do with it. Half bath off the side here. We're going to be back out here in a second to show you the backyard. Staircase to the basement. Down the hallway here, we've got a large bedroom in the back, faces the backyard, which is really nice. This room does have original windows. The floors were just refinished last week. Three-quarter bath with shower, so a small ensuite. Walk-in closet over there behind that door. Those are the stairs going up. We'll go up there in a sec. And then a den off the side of the room, so just to reorient ourselves, that's the front door and the living room that we saw a minute ago. And then a den here. And then they'd set this room up as another bedroom. That could be changed if you wanted to make it one large living room, but it does have a half bath and a little closet. Uh, there are pocket doors here to close this room off. So it could serve as a guest room, but also this whole area could be opened up into the main living room. We'll go upstairs now. There's two large bedrooms upstairs and another full bath. So the full bathroom here at the top of the stairs faces the backyard. Really nice and bright this morning. And then the larger of the two bedrooms here. This one's over 20 feet long and a dormer facing it towards the backyard. Good storage underneath the eaves. And the second bedroom upstairs. So if you're keeping track, we've got two bedrooms here upstairs, two downstairs, depending on how you want to use those rooms. And I'll quickly show you the backyard. Well, I'll show you the basement first. Oh, that's the closet, sorry. A little coat closet there. And the basement stairs are right here off the back entrance. Basement is unfinished, but uh, it's a nice usable space, great for a workshop, kind of typical of the era of the home, but you'll notice that even down here, the windows were replaced with vinyl windows. It's a nice big dry space. There's a sump pump in the corner. But lots of room for storage. Laundry's down here. And the forced air oil furnace. Little back porch here. And this is where we get our morning light. So this is the back deck. There's a second driveway at the back of the property, as you can see. And a 
it's really a fantastic yard. So this is a full generator, so an automatic kick-in generator. It's propane. A little bit of a woodshed area here. But it gives you a sense of the yard. It's just a really fantastic flat yard. Really nicely hedged, lots of space. And if I stop talking for a minute, you can hear the birds chirping. It's just such a nice, quiet area that's so central to the heart of Rossi. So you get to be in a really convenient location without feeling like you're in the middle of a subdivision. And uh, obviously, home has great curb appeal too. So that concludes the video tour for One Goldie Court in Rossi. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call. I can be reached at 650-0092. And my email address is jake at jakepalmer.ca.